You need to ask yourself what might compel you to get out of bed in the middle of the night and storm the local embassy, consulate, military base, or government building with a million of your brethren and declare war on a country. You have to really ask yourself that question because that's exactly what has happened in the last few hours. In the middle of the night, millions of Muslims got out of bed and they decided that it is time to go and demand that their governments declare war on Israel. They are storming the embassies, they are storming the consulates. I would not be surprised if we've seen a mass expulsion of diplomats and egress of the embassies and consulates and possibly a withdrawal of U.S. military forces from numerous countries as a result of what has happened in the last 24 hours. This really is a watershed moment. This really is a red line. It's a critical mass. They crossed the line. We're going to talk about the implications of... Uh, so this is a book of Second Ezra's, the 15th chapter. I will start to at verse 14, Woe to the world in them that dwell therein, for the sword and the destruction draw nigh, and the one people shall stand up and fight against another, and the sword is in their hand, for there shall be sedition among men, and invading on another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes, and the cause of their action shall stand in their power. All praise shall in glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kadash. And the Bahana of the Elder and the Apostles of the Timistone, you all who do well, a peace, a blessing, and a salutation to you. I am more pushing these truths to the four winds of the heaven and be on the forefront of the spiritual war and to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise. A he on yes again as in the days of Holy Soul. Welcome back to uh, the simultaneous equation of prophecy uh, where uh, uh, we hear in Egyemuesi. Uh, we marry uh, the ongoing current event which is the scriptures man what is happening right now man <laughs> anarchy uh, uh, have become normal uh, the anarchy insurrection and sedition have become normal uh, because the prophecy of the multi B and the uh, what you she overlaid is that man. Uh, she so all here is breaking rules, man. Uh, judgment is going on. Just 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 think, man. Millions and millions of people protesting, man. A lot of judgment is going on. A lot of for that early. See a lot of uh, people getting put to death. You see, and uh, it is not uh, announced because. Basically, the media have bigger fish, at, fish to fry, man. The same thing with this an, an anarchist and, 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 and the things they are, they are causing all over the world, man, it's happening all over the world. The, the media is not focusing on that because they have a bigger fish to fry, man. They, they, they are on a disinformation campaign to make everybody support the small heart as man, which is uh, that's ain't gonna happen. And another thing you notice here, uh, people uh, uh, <laughs> are waking up to the BS of, of America. Before I go there, my emphasis was on verse 6, for there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their king or princess. That's the definition of anarchy. Right? You see, if you get the definition of anarchy, <laughs> She anarchy etymology it goes here. It comes from the Greek word anarchos, anarchia. She first used it during the medieval Latin. It say uh, without. It's a combination. It's a compound word uh, between ani and the akos. So ani is without. She plus I call your chief or ruler. So without a ruler, that's the definition of anarchy, man. In the cause of the action, it shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Can you of go the anywhere? tragic event. Of this anarchy. Of the tragic event. Can you go anywhere? No, man, you can't go anywhere. And that's just one country right there, man. A lot of countries, man, they're waking up to the BS of, of Issa Widow, man. 
Rishi. Rajim Rishi. Rajim Rishi. So, this is Habakkuk 2 and 15. Woe well, unto him that give his neighbor drink. That is that was going to this is different philosophy, man. And then and then the hot neighbor with the scripture talking about this as a nation, man. That put is I bought to him when he make him drunken, yes, or that though may look what is their nakedness, as she all the madness which are going on all around Jesh, man. This as a nation is a truly believed in 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 in, 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 in the Babylonian Jews. Right now they are finding out, man, hey man, <laughs> they have been lied to. Though at feed with shame for glory, drink it though else, and let thy foreskin be uncovered. They stormed the embassy demanding America to leave their country their country because no this is not only about war. A lot of people think that uh, uh, these people who are storming this embassy is only about uh, the, the ongoing war. This is a combination of 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 of, of issues to, 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 to do with, with Babylon. That also goes into their philosophy, man. Nobody really wants their son to become a more man. Nobody really wants that. Nobody really wants their, 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 their son to become a transformer. Nobody really wants their daughter to be a, a lesbian, man. Nobody really wants their son to suck their pants, man. No, no, no. Parent with, with, with half a brain, we want that, man. You see? So it is... A, a combination of issues, man, which led to this, to that Yamak, which led to this nation rebelling against the, the whole. I see, say, man, you know why you're here, man? And thy first can be uncovered the cup of the Lord. Yabash, man, shall light hand, shall be turned on to thee, that was going to judgment. Even in the small heart right now, they're getting judged. I <laughs> see. Esau is getting judged right now, man. And a shameful spewing shall be on thy cross. You see, these different embassies will be forced to cross, man, all around the world. That's how you see the new one, the older man is, is crumbling before your eyes, man. All praise to your body, shame, you are shy, man. You see, let's go to, to, to job five, man. Let me see. Mm-hmm. So Job 5, I've started to understand who give rain upon the earth, who is that man? Yahaba Hashem Yahashai, they send waters upon the fields to set up on high those that below that was going to the elect of the nation of Israel, that those which mourn may be exalted to safety. Who, which people are mourning right now? The elect, man. Not even the, the, the entire nation of Israel, I mean, all the elect are mourning right now. He disappoints the device of the crafty, which that was going to the new world order. So that their hand cannot perform their enterprises, their new world order. You see, so the, the new world order will come with different devices and crafty. That was going to the multi be that's the de device of the new world order, in which it is their enterprises. So let me repeat, he disappoints the device of the crafty, going to the different devices, the traps, which will come with the new world order, when it is a multi be so that their hand cannot perform their enterprises, their new world order. He takes the wise in their own craftness. You see, these different uh, philosophies they have been pushing all over the world, it is backfiring on them, man. And the cause of the, of the, of the fraud is carried headlong. You see, they meet with darkness in the daytime and grow up in noonday as in the night. You see, so Esau is a fool, basically, man. Fool uh, Esau. So I wish you this. I say shalom. I hope you brothers were edified. On to the next.